Do you want to know how to make roasted cherry tomatoes that are tossed in olive oil and full of delightful garlic flavor? A roasted tomatoes recipe that is so super simple to make and will add a burst of flavor to a toasted baguette, pasta dish, or your favorite chicken recipe. Hey there! My name is London Brazil from EvolvingTable.com where you'll learn how to make nourishing meals for your loved ones. And that healthy recipe today will teach you how to make oven roasted cherry tomatoes. With tomato season in full swing, there is an abundance of tomatoes either on sale at your grocery store or growing in your own summer garden. While tomatoes taste incredible when they're fresh and uncooked, can I let you in on a little secret? They taste even better when they are roasted in the oven. When I first made this recipe, I had an entire sheet pan of these cherry tomatoes. Well, Cole and I kind of attacked them with a spoon, but we were still left with about half of the sheet pan. So I got to experimenting and came up with three different ways that you can use these roasted cherry tomatoes. Make sure you stick around to see those at the end of this video. If you're ready to get to roasting, come on in and let's get started. Before prepping the tomatoes, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Since a main ingredient in this recipe is tomatoes, it's crucial that you have the right type in order to get flavor-packed roasted tomatoes. You can either use grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. Both cherry and grape tomatoes are a very similar size and pack a lot of flavor. If you do not have cherry or grape tomatoes, larger Campari tomatoes will also taste great, but you will need to cut them into smaller pieces. I'll be using cherry tomatoes today, so let's just go ahead and get rid of the grape tomatoes. We'll be using two pounds of the cherry tomatoes. You can either choose to leave them whole or cut them in half. Cutting them in half allows them to roast more quickly and evenly, so that's what we'll be doing here today. Okay, let's speed things up here a bit. Add tomatoes to a large bowl along with two tablespoons of olive oil. Choosing a better quality olive oil will give the tomatoes more flavor, but you can always just use what you have on hand. Next, we'll add four to six cloves of crushed garlic to the tomatoes. I really use a garlic press like this one. The amount of garlic you add is completely up to you and how much you like to scare away the vampires. Since my hubby doesn't mind a little garlic breath, I'll be using the full six cloves here today, along with one teaspoon of salt, and half teaspoon of black pepper. I like to use a black pepper grinder like this one. It creates a more coarse black pepper and will give the tomatoes a wonderful texture. You can use the typical pure ground black pepper if that's what you have on hand. Toss the ingredients together until the tomatoes are well coated in oil. Add tomatoes to a large baking sheet and spread out in a single layer. Now it's time to just pop these tomatoes into our preheated 400 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. You'll know the tomatoes are done cooking when the skin begins to shrivel. Ah, these look so, so good. And they smell absolutely incredible. I was gonna wait until after I showed you those three dishes, but y'all, I seriously can't wait. I just have to try these to make sure they pass the taste test. Nice big juicy tomato there. Mmm, 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 mmm. I can't wait to show y'all these three different ways that you can use these roasted cherry tomatoes to add just an extra burst of flavor to a few dishes. The first way you can use these roasted cherry tomatoes is to add them to a bowl of pesto pasta with a sprinkle of pine nuts. The second way will take your chicken game to the next level. I've got a simple balsamic glazed chicken breast here and I'm going to top it off with these roasted cherry tomatoes and a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. Just about any grilled or baked chicken recipe will taste incredible with these tomatoes on top. And lastly, my absolute favorite way, on a toasted baguette with a bit of fresh basil. We served these up to a few of our friends this past weekend and they absolutely devoured it. Mm. Mm. I ate the whole leaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Mm. If you liked what you saw here today, 
make sure you check out these other healthy appetizer recipes. And don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up below. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another nourishing meal to serve your loved ones. See you again soon.